want to deliver engaging Google search ads with image extensions? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. Hello, my name is Uzair and thanks for joining in. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do so and also do hit the bell button as we upload content on a very regular basis and you'll be one of the first one um, to get notified. Okay, so something new has been launched and announced by Google Ads. Something extremely exciting and I think you need to start using it because that is definitely going to increase your click-through rate. And when the CTR increases, what that means is you're getting more clicks on your ads, which Google loves. That means your quality score is going to go high, your ad rank is going to improve, your cost per click is going to come down because of the quality score. So all in all, is going to work out in your favor. And if you are getting more clicks, then hopefully if your ad and the landing page or your offer is congruent to each other, then you most probably are going to start to get conversions as well. So how do we do that? Uh, this is with this um, new extension, which is the image extension. Um, as you can see, it's, this was announced on May 27, 21. Um, this has been going on for a while. Um, Google had announced, but it wasn't available globally but now they have launched it globally. So if you haven't seen it in your account yet, it will be rolled out. And what I'll do is I'm also going to uh, show you in the account how to set this up. Um, so let's see what this is all about. Consumers now expect a more visual experience when they browse products and services online. In fact, 86% of consumers in surveyed countries around the world say they expect photos to be a feature uh, businesses offer them when shopping online. Okay. So last year they had introduced this uh, image extension uh, to help create a more visually engaging search ad. So that is the key that normally on a search ad, th there are no images, but now they are starting to roll this out. So what you can do is you can put up photos of your logo, your products, even your headshot. And that is a great way to engage with your uh, audience. And that's what I'm going to do because one of my accounts has recently been uh, whitelisted and I can now upload um, image ads, image extensions, I should say, not image ads. Okay. Um, starting today, which is the May 27, 21, image extensions are available globally. And this is how it's going to look. So somebody search for food delivery. The ad has popped up over here and look at this. Now that is so cool. I love this, the way Google has um, launched this search um, image extensions and is going to entice the user to click on your ad because if your competitors aren't using it or don't know how to use it, then they'll be missing out um, on this new feature. Okay, I'm not going to read all of this. It's just the usual uh, brand case studies, how Estee Lauder increased their clicks or the performance. But it is extremely simple and easy to use. And there are two extensions. One is the normal image extension and one is the dynamic image extension. And that uses machine learning to automatically select the most relevant images from your ads landing page and append them to your ad. So this is really cool. You don't need to do anything. Google is just going to work out which image is the most relevant to which ad. Now that is crazy and it's quite scary as well as to how clever the, the AI and the machine is heading towards. It pretty much knows everything about us, to be honest. Um, so it can't be more scarier than that. Uh, once you opt in, we'll add images from your landing pages to your corresponding ad groups in your search campaigns. You can then review these images and remove any you don't want to show with your ads. Perfect. Uh, dynamic image extensions are currently available in English and will roll out in additional languages over the next few months. So hopefully later on this year, uh, it will go on all of these. 
So add it by Google and these are the images which they're showing. Uh, let's see what the best practice is. Create unique image extensions for priority campaigns and ad groups. Then opt into dynamic image extensions for a quick way to add visuals to the rest of the ad groups in your ad account search campaigns. Image extensions will always serve over dynamic image extensions. So that is, if you've got image extensions, then they're going to take precedent over the dynamic ones. Then you have it on uh, YouTube as well. Um, when your campaign is opted into search partners, image extensions are eligible to show with your ad in YouTube search results. That again is really cool. I like that. Uh, this gives you an easy way to inspire potential customers while you expand the reach of your search campaigns. By connecting with people as they search for videos related to your products and services, they can engage even more qualified customers. And that's about it, really. There's not much to it rather other than to set it up. So how do we set this up? So if you go, let me go into an account which hasn't got a hasn't got this extension so if i go into one of my dummy accounts you'll see that there is no image extensions over here right so that is an account without the image extension right now and this is an account with an image extension so you go there and it's so easy there's nothing to explain really you either add to campaign level or ad group level or you can use an existing one if you've got one right create new add image or images upload choose file and then i'm just going to select one headshot like that or it could be a logo it could be anything really and once it's uploaded you select on it now you can either have it as a square or they have another option which is the uh, 16 to 9 ratio uh, the horizontal one the 1.91 to 1 ratio if you have one more image which is in this format uh, like a rectangle then you upload it again and you select that so you can have either a square or the rectangle one either one, whichever one you want S save and then you save it over here again and then that pops up and that's where the image is going to show up on my ads so if somebody is looking so in this campaign i can either put my image ad because most well not most people i should say I, uh, i'll say many people have seen my videos and are aware of me in the google ads niche so if they go to google and they're looking for something else like google ads training or google ads or whatever anything to do with google ads and let's say my ad pops up all of a sudden my headshot is there so i'm going to use a different a headshot like three or four different ones and see which ones are getting the clicks and getting giving me better better results so that's how easy it is to set up an um, image extension. So hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.